about to get the car washed so I can take you on a trip around Dubai. This is one of our cars and it's filthy and I'll show you how good a job these guys do with the washing of the car. It's about a team of about 20 and I think it cost me 10 or 15 dollars. But while I was here, I want you to have a look uh, at a car that's two booths down from me getting ready for uh, National Day. I know it's noisy, so I can hope you can hear me. Just wait a minute and I'll show you. Have a look at this one. You can see people get quite excited and are really passionate about uh, their National Day. You know, for Australia Day, which is also my birthday, we don't go to that much extent. And we're not that enthusiastic about decorating all our cars. We give this one the big thumbs up. <laughs> Have our own little mini celebration too. Okay, back to our car. That's a Dodge. It's actually Rowan more so. I've got another one. You see these guys um, lift it up and clean under it on top of it and it's a huge car. There's no way we could wash it. Rowan will tell you all the bits and pieces about it because I don't know. I know it's, it's an 8 litre or something. Hello. Hi. I hope you can see and hear me okay. I'm here at the car washes still and you can see there's a heap of guys outside who are um, fluffing and cleaning it. And when you've got that many kids, yeah. when you have that many kids, it's great to have that many people working on your car. And I just got the bill, 50 dirham, and I just got my little picnic, which was strawberry milk and some Punjabis, plus another 12 dirham, and I say this is how everybody can wash their car. You'll see it when it's finished, it's great value. I think totally, um, I think about 15, 15 Australian dollars, uh, plus my stack, maybe 20, 20 dollars. Okay. I'll go for now and I'll talk to you later and I'll show you around the new car. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Sharon here and uh, this is not Rowan today. He might come a bit later, but I wanted to introduce you to someone who's very special to us and um, who I think is a valuable part of our team and our family now. And her name is? Sarah. Hi. Sarah. Where are you from, Sarah, originally? Well, I'm from the uh, Philippines mm -hmm. and I'm from Luzon. Somewhere up here, just above Australia in fact. And we're mm -hmm. actually in uh, my office at the moment, so we'll probably do a few interviews from here because we get to point to where people are from. Okay. And how long have you been here? Um, I've been living in Dubai for almost 20 years now. Yes, 20 years, yeah. You would have seen a lot of changes. Yeah, a lot of changes, yes. And tell everyone what you do for us, Sarah, some of the jobs that you help us out with. Well, I'm uh, working as uh, assistant. Assistant. Office assistant and of course helping out with some um, uh, things with the kids like dropping them to school and bring them up and mm -hmm. you know taking them everywhere they wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So um, the kids, tell us about the kids. What do you think of Jake? Jake is a nice boy, mm -hmm. uh, very patient like his mom of course. <laughs> That's right. And uh, Kane is a little bit forgetful like his mom as well, you know. Like but me, you are forgetful, that's why yeah. I'm Sarah. But he is, he's also a nice boy. And about Jackson? Jackson? Wow, wow he's a loud talker boy, but he's also, you know, a nice boy. They're all good. They're all really good, are they? I really <laughs> like them. And when, um, I think one day I came and talked to them and I asked them how, how am I, you know, uh, yeah. doing with them and... Uh, Jake said, no, we like you, we like your driving, oh, very and, good. yeah, mm -hmm. because um, I, I don't shout with them whenever they are, you know, mm -hmm. fighting each other inside the car. I have to say, stop that. No, I, I no, no that. They, they like it. What about my little girl? Yeah. Holly? I like her, especially when I said, holy, holy, I'll give you some lollies. Yeah, and she did start jumping girl. on me and... Well, nice. and every morning she used to come to my office. Uh, she's she's just saying hi. She's yeah. the best behaved child. She is. Now, what about, uh, for example, the type of work and jobs that you have to do? You, you take care of a lot of the databases that we have at the moment, don't you? Yeah. Which is a fairly big job lately, isn't it? Takes a lot mm -hmm. of your time. And today, what have we been trying to find? 
to the room. Who came it before? Uh, who was it? A maid. A maid, yeah. A maid. Sarah's been trying to help us out finding a maid for a little while. How was she? Was she okay? Yes. The house has okay. been uh, pretty clean. It's a big, big, tough job, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. All the extra help I need. <laughs> Some people think I'm insane. They do. Now, how many languages do you talk? Um, I can speak four languages, but um, most of them are just the basic. Uh -huh. And uh, in terms of uh, Arabic, I'm very fluent. Arabic? I'm speaking oh Arabic. my. You teach you? Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> so say something in Arabic for me. Okay. Sounds fantastic and a brilliant boss. Oh yeah? Okay. Um, يعني ممكن أن أقول لك من الشعر أنا أحب أم هي مثل أختي يعني لأن هي وايد طيبة هذا نعم. Okay. And what about um, what else can you talk? A little bit of uh, Dutch. Yes. Uh, just just the basic. Uh huh. Like good morning. Something, something like that. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is like good morning, uh, how are you, and thank you. Did you know the boys have got a little bit of Dutch in them? Really? Jake and Jack, uh, Jake and Kane. Yes, they're half Dutch. Uh, French. Oh, they're learning French, but yeah. actually through their bodies. I just heard them Dutch. talking in the car. Mm -hmm. You know, in French. Yeah, that's because they're learning French as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, Sarah helps us out all the time. Uh, Rowan's at his um, new job, uh, so we'll probably talk to him a little bit later. But Sarah's fantastic, and she brings a lot of extra influences into our life. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I wanted to introduce different people from um, around the world because uh, we're all one big family, aren't we? Yeah. In Dubai, <laughs> that's what Dubai. Is. What's your favourite bit about Dubai? Um. Well, as you know, that I'm not roaming around lots in Dubai, but. Um, the one thing I like in Dubai is um, probably the culture mm -hmm. and um, the, co the culture in terms of how they are respecting women, especially when they know that you are um, a Muslim. Because you converted, didn't you? Yeah, I mm -hmm. converted in 2002. Yeah, but I don't um, see you praying or anything like that. Oh uh, Well, I do pray at home, but I can't. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I've got lots of mats and <laughs> which, um, she'd have to teach us a little bit about that as well. Anyway, mm -hmm. thanks, Sarah. Okay. You know that we really appreciate you. So sure, thanks so you much. You can show all your family. How many in your family at home? Um, I have uh, five siblings mm -hmm. and my mom. Mm -hmm. So there's a big family back at home. We'll say hi to all them. Hopefully they'll see hi. you. Hi. Okay. See ya. Okay. Take care. <laughs> hi, guys. Hello again. Third time for me. Yes, well, first time for me. And I must say, Sharon, I've uh, viewed the clips that you've done today. And, um, all I may suggest is that next time when you're going out to do cars, that you might want to take myself or one of the boys. Yeah. Why? Well, what, what sort of cars are we on? Uh, your one is the grey Dodge Durango. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let me just and explain. It's a, it's a Dodge one. Durango, and uh, it is a 5.7 litre V8. Hemi motor, <laughs> um, you know, eight-seater, full leather, and all electrics. It's the grey car, the big one that yeah. takes the kids. Yes. So, <laughs> and I washed it for him. You would think your husband would well, say Oh, thank you, sweetheart. That's the first time you said that, and I thought it. I do appreciate it. And uh, the other one was Sarah. She did a great job, and uh, even though she told me she was very nervous doing it, she didn't come across that well, so she was well done, Sarah. Mm. Yeah. She's a good girl, isn't she? Now, um, one of the questions today for me was uh, someone wanted to know a little bit more about what I did on my new job. Me too. So, uh, okay. I'll try and explain it then I'll make yep. it. Yeah. Well, I come from a construction background and I've been a uh, manager for over, in management roles for over 18 years. Mm -hmm. And um, the new role is to act or work for the client. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the service we provide is to deal with design and construction issues, programming, labour, all that sort of stuff. And we make sure that uh, the quality is getting there and done on time for it. So that's pretty much what we do and how we look after them with our new service. Do you understand that? You're looking blank. Okay. All right. I know what scoopers are in construction. <laughs> Rowan does construction. Tell us about where or, or what you've what, done a little bit here. What I am going to do is, because uh, today I went out to site and um, looked at one of our, our new jobs that we've got going with the project manager out there and you know I'd like to show you the different types of things and different types of jobs that are out there and, and how they are I guess 
unique in, their, in each one. Each mm -hmm. one is different mm -hmm. and, and uh, the people on there are fantastic to, to deal with. And, mm -hmm. uh, I want to give you a little bit of insight of the construction. Mm -hmm. Well, you know a lot about it and you're not giving up enough yet, so no. I might have to ask him again about well, what he really does. I'll get a little bit more time and I'll uh, go through a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same with me in real estate. Yes. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to let everyone know that you're still here. I'm alive. <laughs> he might take the camera tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.